Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Michael Maltsev. I'm a CEO of Rigger, and uh, today I'm here to present our product. The oil field rental market uh, in Canada, it's uh, like 800 drilling rigs and uh, 600, uh, roughly, roughly calculation, 600 rental companies in uh, uh, Western Canada and uh, 3,000 potential users. So it gives you a uh, like, uh, Canadian market like five to $10 million. Uh, and uh, uh, traditionally we multiply uh, uh, Canadian market by five to 10 and uh, realize that uh, US market will be like 25 to $70 million. So uh, the main challenging for oil field rentals is that you have a labor equipment, mileage, service, locations, clients, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, in one field ticket. And you need to track all that movements. And those movements uh, uh, happen several times a day. So uh, for the busy season, you can have uh, like 100,000 uh, transactions uh, per month. And you need to track everything. So traditionally, people track this by paper and uh, Excel spreadsheet and uh, real-time dispatching, equipment tracking management. Rental days calculations is a really challenging thing. How that can affect uh, rental business? So first of all is delay in invoicing. Uh, second, loss of equipment because you lose track of uh, your movements, you lose your equipment. And of course double entries because you need to track everything in uh, your system, then move everything to the accounting system to produce uh, invoices and then invoices move to e-invoice systems like Cortex or Open Invoice. So that double, triple entries and uh, of course it's a human doing that stuff and uh, lots of errors and mistakes can we make that way. We have like three main components of rental business, people, equipment, and the process. Uh, and uh, we think that secret sources is a, like a process because uh, you need to mostly focus in on how to organize things, how to manage your equipment better. So business processes, organization structure, and operation management software. So we build one. In 2012, we had our first version, and it was pretty straightforward. Uh, application, tracking service requests, uh, service uh, schedule, delivery tickets, and uh, produce uh, rental invoice. Users and roles, field technicians in the field, operator, dispatcher, accountant, so and uh, operation manager. Sometimes could be a safety manager as well in the system. So everything in one platform, in one page, and understand how things are rolling down for, uh, in the business. Our vision of rigor is all-in-one solution. So manufacturing, uh, oil service and rentals, uh, sales, purchases, uh, banking, and uh, basic accounting. So uh, entire package for uh, small and medium-sized uh, companies. Model is a traditional SaaS model, software as a, as a, uh, as a service. But uh, most of our clients, they prefer have a not software as a service, but solution as a service. So we can name it that way. Our main advantage is uh, affordable customization. So we do customize like 30% of each implementation, each customized solution, different forms, different requirements, different authorization levels, and all kinds of different stuff. And uh, um, right now we have version 2.2, uh, focusing on dispatching. Next uh, step will be integration with uh, Cortex and Open Invoice. And right now we have integration with accounting systems like SIPA Accounting and QuickBooks. How the things looks like, just a couple screenshots, powerful reports. We're positioning rigor in the middle and uh, like a best value for small and medium sized companies to replace uh, uh, Excel spreadsheets and paperwork and uh, not touch the big guys like SAP and my Oracle and uh, Microsoft Dynamics. Benefits, next day accurate invoicing, uh, fleet optimization, uh, measure operation results, and increased value of the business. This year we'd like to finish with 100 users, next year uh, 300 users, and 700 users uh, follow year. So our goal right now is to find the strategic partner in, uh, who will well connected in oil and gas industry in Canada and US and can provide some investment, uh, marketing and sales support. That's it. Thank you very much. Good presentation. Can you uh, break you. down the revenue model and how do you plan to make uh, revenues of the enterprise system as a per pay user? Or? Yes, uh, we do uh, like we do different two different uh, layers. So the basic layer is uh, as is without any customization, uh, and it costs 150 uh, per user per month, uh, and it's a concurrent user. Uh, you can have like 20 people in a company, but uh, have like 10 10 license, uh, which can utilize the system uh, simultaneously, like 10 10 users. 
Uh, and we have uh, another uh, layer. Uh, it's a like customized solution uh, when you have uh, lots of different customized uh, features and uh, it will cost you 200 uh, per user per month. Uh, what, uh, what you estimate is, is the ability of the established players to come up with that kind of software and uh, basically bypass, you know, if this starts getting some traction and the bigger guys, instead of trying to acquire you, they're going to say, well, you know, we can put together a tool like this. Well, what, what is your protection around that? So I would say that, uh, yeah, the, the, main, the main idea is uh, customization. We guys could not afford that uh, to make uh, each time customized solution. We can do that uh, with our platform. Uh, it will cost a little bit high, but uh, uh, for, for us it's, uh, it's because, because we use, they use an open source platform and we can utilize the, uh, that function. So we can provide that uh, customized solution for every client. So my question has to do with uh, finding lost equipment. So I'm assuming that it's GPS and labeled. Uh, and can you also send sensor data across those nets at this point? Or is that something you're, you're looking at? Uh, it's certainly something we'd be interested in. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's a great question. Uh, uh, our system track all the equipment by document. So we know who the, was the last person who touched this by document. But uh, definitely, uh, GPS is a completely different story. And uh, we have uh, one contact with uh, a company named GeoForce. Uh, so to do the integration with, with their software uh, to provide the entire solution for uh, rental companies. Because uh, sometimes the data, even, even rental days, counting by GPS location and counting by documents differ. And usually differ from uh, like reduced revenue uh, for rental companies. Michael, thank you very much. Thank you.